So kia ora friends, I am Kamal from New Zealand and I am here with this live stream to buck the trend. And what is that trend? That is the trend of 80% negativity of thoughts, of faulty thinking. And I'm here to help you overcome everyday thinking or faulty or the 80% negative default and really calm your nervous system, find peace and start to uh, live with a higher vibration. I know that sounds a bit ethereal but I'm going to explain it because it's actually pretty simple. It's the difference between negative a lot and uh, positive a little bit. 80% uh, negative and 20% positive. Seriously that is the makeup of our thinking. So that 80% negative default is what I call everyday thinking. And that is the thinking that we have borrowed from other people because we made a decision generally about three or four that the world was unsafe, that we were unlovable, and that what we were experiencing, the these unresolved emotions and these which we translated into a limiting belief become very strong programs in the mind and our particular time of consciousness our time in humanity we are so programmed guys we are so brainwashed it's why I became a hypnotist because I wanted to break the pan I wanted to interrupt the pattern I wanted to smash down the negative and why because well it's just time to it's blinking boring being negative so this Negative default was what I call everyday or faulty thinking. And the tone or the feeling tone of this uh, way of thinking is busy, distracted, running around, uh, just the on autopilot. Mindset, mindset's in it as well, like get out of your mind, your mind, your logical mind anyway needs a shake up. Get into the mind state and get into the heart. I've got to come down here and hold my heart so you can see it. The heart is where things are at. This is what shifts everything and it's heart, mind, coherence, but we'll go into that. We're still on that default negative. Foldy thinking is fear uncertainty, lack and doubt and these are programmed in when we are very young and we made decisions which set limiting beliefs and those limiting beliefs are really just thoughts and we have 70,000 of them a day and 90% of them were recycled from yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that going all the way back to those early years zero to seven. So that's your mind and have you ever really taken any time to examine your mind and your feelings, the emotions that were created by your heart around those limiting beliefs? So faulty is negative. It is everyday. It is logical. It's rational. It is mindset. It is uh, programmed. And really, it's a bunch of bollocks. It's time to get rid of it. It's time to upgrade it. It's time to be a thought disruptor. It is time to let your imagination reshape your consciousness, your conscious, logical, intentful, rational mind. It doesn't mean that you have to go full creative. It doesn't mean if you go woo, woo, woo. You don't have to be even woo adjacent. All you really need to do is understand you have this mind, which has two hemispheres, logical, left, and creative right we're always using them in fact our imagination runs our body so you know we're always using all parts of our mind but it's when we consciously choose to use all of the mind and the way that we do that is to take that one percent the super conscious which is connected to the field of intelligence, which is connected to our ancestors, which is connected to the future and our mokko, our grandchildren in the future and their mokko further on. We integrate all parts of our mind. And how do we do that? It is unbelievably easy. I really can't believe how easy it is to shift from negative to positive, from everyday to futuristic, from uh, stuck 
in a reactive pattern with lots of density and resistance to free and open and creative and flowing so, so easy. It's just a breath. With a really long exhale, where all that air goes, all that stale, cruddy air. I'm going, <laughs> holding on, trying to find the right answer, because the right answer is where it's all at. Getting rid of that. <sighs> oh, God, it feels like such a relief. And then i got to do it. Close your eyes. And listen. There's a feeling tone within you. If that feeling tone feels good, you have to slow down to actually really understand how your thoughts feel in you, but you can pretty much feel them. And that feeling tone, that great pulse, is how you start to reshape the narrative and challenge your own thoughts and your own feelings towards one of limitless, one of expansive, one of uh, creative, one of fluid, one where you don't have to force all the outcomes and do all the hard work, where you can use the cooperative source around you and the cooperative sources around you because essentially this universe does want to cooperate with you but it can't if you're running around with fear uncertainty lack criticism judgment and uh, doubt or procrastination it just has no ability this is kind of easy to demonstrate because you know about this like if you feel good if you wake up in the morning and you challenge your thinking and you slow things down and you start to feel good that will cascade over all of your day whereas if you get up in the morning switch on your list of notifications which are going to tell you all the things that you do you need to do that day you're sitting there you're thinking oh my god Oh my God, well, how am I going to manage all of this? How am I going to keep, how am I going to manage this team? How am I going to crack this, this business solution? How am I going to <laughs> feed the dog, feed the children, get the children to school, do all of these things and have any joy? Man, this is the everyday thinking. If that's how you start, that will cascade into your day. So. You can slow this down. Do not pick up your phone first thing in the morning. Do not pick it up. 4.47 is pretty early. Do not pick up your phone at all. Leave it to the side. And if you do pick it up, put your timer on for some meditation. Close your eyes. Feel resistance in your body and if you have that resistance you might want to shake around <laughs> if you're creative like me you're going to ask your ancestors for assistance you may say a karakia you may say an invocation if you're really stuck in the morning and again as out the window if you're really 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 stuck in the morning try this i'm so happy and grateful i'm so happy and grateful i'm so happy i'm so happy i like being here i'm so happy i'm so happy and grateful <sighs> to breathe i'm so happy and grateful and thankful for this moment my life feels good to me Say that for just over a minute. You'll actually instantly feel a shift. And then you can get up and do all your running around because, you know, some you got to run around. I, I get that. we got to run around. But there are spaces in the day. And the moment you climb out of your bed, the moment you get up is the most magical time to reshape that narrative. 
to reset that vortex of 70,000 thoughts that have been replayed since you were a kid. They're really boring. Disrupt your own thoughts. Only you can do this, nobody else. Don't listen to anybody else. Listen to yourself here. And whatever sources your guidance, which informs yourself. Do not let one single fear, one element of criticism, one thought of, oh no, there's just too much. Or, was a third one, criticism, forgotten the last one, but do not let these limitations predetermine where you're going. Your book or grandchildren, guys, they need you. The world needs positive people. The world needs people who do not care who's right or wrong. Whether we're vaxxed or unvaxxed, wearing a mask, not wearing a mask, voting for the right, voting for the left, worrying where this pandemic came from, we don't need that. We need people who can beat the 80% negative, who can slam it down, who can turn their gaze to what pleases them and makes them feel good. That's all we need. That's all we need. No more faulty. Beat down that 80% negative. And if you are interested in either meditation or self-hypnosis, self-hypnosis is the only sort of hypnosis there is. And meditation is a form of hypnosis in our modern society. Anyone, any guided meditation is self-hypnosis, guys. But the key to all of this is slow brain waves. Slow, you know, slow. <laughs> slow is slow. Slow is low. And then you can go with the flow. That's how easy it is. And because we are in Virgo season and it's all about healing, allow yourself to slow and relax. Chuck out Foldy. Chuck out negative. The world needs you. Thanks for listening.